hello and welcome to the end time ccg and today the creative juices are flowing and i will show you some proxies with no art on them yeah we will stare at blank paper well but some have drawings these have a drawings of a delorean as you can see boom delorean the costa rica dinosaur research lab the over the top truck you know from the movie with Sylvester Stallone here we got the truck from Terminator 2 can you envision it and here we have the motorcycle from Terminator 2 here we have Hudson Hawk and here we have Dr. Emmett Brown and so on let me show you why the this is seven from Stranger Things but well you could also put in Akira in there bam 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 well better this way Okay, let's get back to business. And um, yeah, this morning I was doing, um, I was planning uh, some workout and was planning to finish uh, my calendar page so that I can start into the new month. And uh, I was listening to a Lenny Kravitz song called Are You Gonna Go My Way? <laughs> And then I was uh, listening to the Knight Rider uh, theme song because like um, I tried to meditate or I tried other stuff or just to be boring. Um, and sometimes it's good, but mostly for me music works. And um, while I was listening to the Knight Rider song, it was like uh, Michael Knight, a young loner on a crusade to champion the cause of the hopeless or lonely or f faithless against corruption and something like this and i don't know how oh here we have a beautiful elvish girl that i was uh drawing or redrawing from johan eckerkrantz from his instagram something like this will make its way also into the tcg let's talk about the crazy creative juices so where did i start i kind of had the idea as you see, the end times TCG is coming to me or is unlocked from within me. It is not something I'm constructing and catering to you, the audience. It is something that's coming from the divine to me, to you, to paper. So we can have awesomeness. And I was always like, oh man, couldn't we have magic the gathering and stuff like that. But that's not where we're going. We're going towards the 80s, the 90s. We're going towards Primal Rage, the computer game with the giant apes and dinosaurs. We're going um, to T-Rexes right up here. Can you imagine T-Rexes and sword fighting mercenaries fighting each other? Um, and yeah, and so I was writing things down. I will show you what I was writing down. So I put down Michael Knight. Michael Knight, a normal human being. What can he do in the end times TCG? I don't know, but I put him down. Then I got the Knight Rider car kit, I guess it's called. It's a black Trans AM. And now I have cars in this game. We have cars, we have shotguns, we have blades, we have magical beings, we have uh, beings that are transformed and manipulated in government facilities, and it's all coming together. Bam! Because it's the 80s and 90s. Vampires. I put on Simon Phoenix from the movie Demolition Man because we need a cool Wesley Snipes character just bringing Evoc. Are you having fun? If you ain't having fun, you ain't doing it right. Um, and it's true. Sometimes we can't recognize it, but it's not taught to us. So we live always like square sponges. So forget about it. Then after the Knight Rider theme song, the A-Team theme song came up and I was thinking, man, how cool would it be to have vampires, wrestlers, um, um, some, where is it? Uh, somewhere I had the guy named Steve Austin, not the wrestler Steve Austin, but the Steve Austin, the Bionicle man, the six million dollar man. And so I was thinking there was a time where they were like human experiments to make them um, faster, 
better, stronger, faster. And then we have also the Robocop, like the cop that dies and then it gets enhanced and he loses his humanity. And as you know, this 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 end times CCG is all about um, fun in the first place, but also about humanity and where humanity is going. And you can best best uh, recognize that in the stories we are telling, or we are, um, like in the Mary Shelley Frankenstein's, in the Stranger Things, in the Lone Mole Man, in the Think. Uh, in the things we experience collectively and individually. And so I put it down here. here this is the Lawnmower Man. I never saw in that movie, but it's like um, the guy is mentally retarded and then uh, a professor takes him and makes him a super genius and then he starts maybe taking revenge. It's like Ginger Snaps or Jennifer's Body just with a man and kind of kind of the same tragic story as the fly and i think that's really cool to play characters like that or to go into characters like that and um, i in my life also encountered a lot of um, powerlessness and stupid stuff um, taught to me by parents school and society and as i started to see where their flaws were i encountered that well, you're only sold. So half the time you're sold like illusions and lies. And the part of growing up and becoming awesome, awesome um, is recognizing those lies and those illusions and putting in that place something strong, like a good value, a training routine, something good to eat that strengthens your body, makes your mind function, um, makes your heart open so that you can enjoy life relationships and all of that stuff so let's come back to the juices flowing here um i got a faceless void uh just as a placeholder from dota 2 but like this creature from the void like as you can see we have many factions um trying to fight for power everybody for themselves um everyone with his own cause we have the vampires we have the werewolves but we have also the thing I put down the upside down the void, but it's just it's just a placeholder for a place where there is no time and space, if it rhymes. Then yeah, be welcome. And so we have creatures from the shadow. We have a guy that was a test pilot and then becomes a six billion dollar man. And all I want to do is I want to give you a toolkit to build the deck you want to build. So if you're into vampires, do that. If you're into tech guys, do that. If you're into the lawnmower man, do that. Um, then we have here Montauk because I want um, the way my world building works is like you have our normal history and then somehow the governments of this world start to tinker with time, space. And so um, that all those things like Seven or Aliens or The Void become now um, possible through um, science or the manipulation of time and matter but maybe also something like in the Hellboy universe or in the fantasy stuff awakens um, from the, within the earth or from within a magical space 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 that was sheltered um, to come and warn the humans or maybe to take revenge on what we have done or are about to do to the world so maybe creatures that were hiding for a long time like maybe an elf race rises up again like uh, Namor the submariner in the Marvel universe so it all starts to it's all starts to work out and then let me let me finish this uh, we have uh, walking through the valley sh the, the valley of shadow of death this is still from Rudy and maybe also from uh, this will be a spell for pastors gone so there will be zombies uh, like in the Zack Snyder um, remake of Dawn of the Dead which I found kind of cool then we have the famas we have uh, tons of weapons like in Jack the Lions 2 or in um, <clears throat> how do you call it uh, the famas is also in uh, Metal Gear Solid 1 with the lock of the draw and with the lock of the Irish because like 
Um, lately I'm playing Age of Empires 2 with the crew I'm writing um, a film and um, so I'm also kind of into the Mayan Viking ad stack stuff yeah then I don't know how I came to this but I was thinking about Seven and I was also thinking about Marty McFly maybe we need a Marty McFly or a Rick and Morty um, what do we have here? Montauk, Murphy, Robocop. You can see it's all mashing together, but it's kind of fitting. And then came the point where, okay, we have, we have in every good 80s and 90s movies, there's always a shootout, there's a brawl, there's a bar fight, there's a Mexican standoff. Like, good lord, these were good times. Like, the past 20 years, the CGI just, just is crap. I want practical effects back and I don't say like the CGI from Lord of the Rings from 2000 holds up very well but so we have now cars and vehicles in this game and I don't want to use them just like I don't know how Magic the Gathering treats them but I want to create for you an experience like you're watching a movie and then you get a car and then you can chase another car you can get away with this car you can ram another car and as we have it like where is it the night rider let's say you can get away it has speed six because this is a fast car it this one has stealth because it's kit the night rider it can ram it deals two damage to the, uh, to the other car but it also takes one and so this is not not a truck it's 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 uh, kind of yeah the durability is only three um, and then I was thinking about the De DeLorean and the special must be that it can time travel. So we have end times and time and ending and traveling and manipulating time, matter, space will also be a big part of that. Then we have the Stallone truck from over the top. I will draw it down. I have the truck from Terminator because like the Terminator uses it or the, the, the T-1000 uses the truck to try to crush Arnold Schwarzenegger and the kid so this will be awesome um, definitely it will be slower or build up speed I don't know yet the mechanics that the game is talking to me and I am this is like a child I'm nurturing and raising but we have motorcycles which will have maybe will be faster but less durable less durable and yeah we'll see how this will work out we have Hudson Hawk from the movie with uh what's his name die hard man and then a scientist so we have scientists we have action stars we have terminators traveling through time and space um and then we have a baywatch babe what can a baywatch babe do i don't know she can look hot on paper and i guess she's fit and she's fast and pretty and those three things will not be in vain like these are useful things and then on the other side we have the MacGyver guy with this gun paper and now we have an A-bomb um, yeah I was listening to all the soundtracks then we have a James Bond with Pierce Brosnan what will an agent be able to do well if you have a Kingsman or an agent or some spy it will come in handy and then we have Simon Phoenix a total degenerate which will kick some ass then we have John Spartan um, cops Eddie Murphy or uh, as the Beverly Hills Cop I'm it was always about cops cops doing something cool like cops were the heroes of the day um, and yeah and then here we have the A-team and the A-team truck and this will be cool and then we have the horse from True Lies and the horse will have like less durability the speed is okay but maybe it's a cheaper and you need maybe a skill to ride the horse but I don't know how handy the jump can be. Then we have Primal Rage, which I don't know what it does, but it reminds me of the cool game. The natural life, because the natural life needs to be here. It creates something beautiful, something healthy. And then on the other side, I was laughing when this came to me. I was kind of shopping groceries and getting water. I was thinking about roids, steroids. <laughs> and if you have five steroid counters you get a stroke or a heart attack kind of funny come on which game does this this game should be cool and then of course road rage um 
while this were coming into my head i was just smiling and laughing so this is from here ah um the grizzly the grizzly man grizzly is a mercenary from jack the lions 2 he's a human mercenary and i guess jack the lions 2 is a great source because like um yeah mercen mercenaries to hire everybody needs them at least in this game see ya